next step is open the visual studio and click on create a new project go with the console app click next so i'll say asb your service bus q click next yes click create now the project is created so first what we will do we have to add the nuget configurations for that what you can do right click on your project click on manage nuget packages go to browse type azure service bus you can go and select the azure service bus but there is another option also available which is windows service bus it's not been in use this is the latest one which they have created and you should use this one so the installation is completed let us go back to the program now first what we have to do we have to create connection then we have to create sender then we have to send message then we have, we have to create receiver the last thing we have to do receive the message so as i mentioned earlier to create the connections we have to use the service bus client so for that i will be writing the code here is equal to new service bus client and in this we have to pass the connection string so connection string i already have just paste it here then we have to create the sender is equal to client dot create sender in this we have to pass the queue name so a queue name is first queue and then we have to send the message and to send the message what we have to do here we have to use the sender dot send message asynchronously and it should send the message and message should be new service bus message what we have to pass here is let us say hello rohit okay we'll stop here and we will run this and see if message is going to your service bus queue or not so let me run this let me put a debugger here f10 connection is created it is going to create the sender sender is created sending the message okay there is no error so let us go to the azure and see if there is a message or not stop it here click overview refresh it says there is a message there is one active message that is good and for that let me click on service bus explorer to see what exactly is that message click on peak next message or you can click on peak from start since there is only one message both means same okay so if you see here is the message and these are the properties which service bus itself has created message id the time it, it says and the delivery count text so whole hello rohit is the message cool so we are able to send the message successfully